is November 23rd, 2020. My name is Father Trap, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Today, my brothers and sisters, we'll be focusing on the life of St. Clement of Rome. Now, St. Clement of Rome, also known as Pope Clement I, was the fourth bishop of Rome and Pope of the Catholic Church. And it is St. Clement who was directly ordained by St. Peter himself. A tradition has it that began in the third and fourth century that has identified him as St. Clement that Paul mentioned in Philippians chapter 4, verse 3, when a fellow laborer in Christ was noted. However, apart from this, not much is known about his early life or his ministry. However, according to an apocryphal actor dating on the 4th century at the earliest, St. Clement was banished from Rome during the reign of Emperor Trojan and was set to work in a stone quarry. Finding on his arrival that the prisoners were suffering from a lack of water, he knelt down in prayer. Looking up, he saw a lamb on a hill, went to where the lamb stood, and struck the ground with his pickaxe, releasing a gushing stream of clear water. This miracle resulted in the conversion of a large number of local pagans and his fellow prisoners to Christianity. As punishment, Clement was martyred by being tied to an anchor and thrown from a boat into the Black Sea. The Inkerman Cave Monastery marks the supposed place of Clement's burial in Crimea. And a year or two before his own death in 869, Cyril brought to Rome what he believed to be the relics of St. Clement, bones he found in Crimea buried with an anchor on dry land. They, were now in, they are now enshrined in the Basilica of St. Clement in Italy. Other relics, such as the head of St. Clement, it can also be found in the Monastery of the Caves in Ukraine. Today, November 3rd, we remember all churches named in honor of St. Clement, especially the Church of St. Clement in Spring Point, Athens, in the Bahamas. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who is wonderful in the virtue of all your saints, Grant us joy in the yearly commemoration of St. Clement, who as a martyr and high priest of your son, bore out by his witness that we celebrate in mystery and confirmed by example what he preached with his lips. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.